Hey everyone, my name's Michael and you're watching Chow with Lau and today I'm going to show you one of the quickest, easiest, tastiest beef stir fries that you're ever going to have. Let's jump straight into it. I've got 400 grams of beef here. I've got steak to be precise. Um, what you can do with that is use the cheaper steaks you can find in the supermarkets because it doesn't have to be fillet steak. We're going to make it tender and delicious through our marinade, which I'll show you in a little while. As you can see, I'm going to be cutting across. This is where the grain is. I'm going to be cutting across it. And I'm going to try to slice the meat as thinly as I can because that means that the meat is going to be quicker to cook. And it's also going to make this piece of meat go a very long way indeed. And that, of course, is the essence of Chinese stir frying. It makes dishes more economical, quicker to cook, actually healthier because you're consuming less meat, but you're still getting maximum satisfaction, maximum flavor and all the good stuff. And obviously we're using a lot of vegetables which is good for us. And in this day and age, it's gotta be a good thing, right? Now onto the marinade. So to this beef, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of Shaoxing white wine. a teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of corn flour, and one egg. Get your hands in and give it a good massage. Make sure all those ingredients reach every single part of that meat. And what's gonna happen here, as well as the flavor from the aromatics here, the corn flour and the sodium bicarbonate is going to tenderize the beef. And it's gonna to start to kind of break down the fibers. So whatever you are using in terms of the meat is gonna be more tender when this process is done. And then we can set it aside whilst we prepare the other ingredients. So we're gonna prep our veggies. So we're gonna start off with the garlic, which I'm going to slice thinly. We're gonna need about a thumb-sized piece of ginger. Again, finely sliced. Slice your carrot thinly. We're also gonna need some broccoli. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli, which I like because it's just got a different color to normal broccoli, but you're quite welcome to use normal broccoli if you so wish, whatever you can get your hands on. It's all good. I've also got some spring onions or green onions and what we're going to do, we're just going to trim the ends off here and then we're just going to slice them quite roughly. I've also got a red pepper. I love red peppers just for the colour of them. Look at that. It's such a pretty thing, isn't it? We can cut them chunkily or finely. I quite like them chunky because I like a little bite to go with the softness of the beef. Right, so the next step is to blanch our carrots and our broccoli to make sure that they're not so firm that it's not nice to eat. It just, it needs to retain some bite to it, but it doesn't want to be like eating uh, poker chips. <laughs> And because we stir fry so quickly, if we don't blanch it, they, the carrots especially will become, or stay really, really hard, and that's not nice. Okay, so the broccoli and the carrots have been blanching for a minute or two, and that should be absolutely fine. 
Right guys, now for the exciting bit. We're gonna flash fry our beef. So a copious amount of oil, cold oil into a hot wok. And this is gonna give us a kind of a non-stick coating on this steel wok. That, that's quite a lot of oil, but don't worry, it's not going to soak into the beef because we are only going to do this for seconds. Okay, so we're going to get that beef nice and hot, give it a swirl around, and then we're going to get our beef and we're going to introduce it to the hot oil. Be careful, it's going to splutter a little bit. Okay. Okay guys, we're on the home straight. Get your wok nice and hot before adding your oil. Okay, a couple of tablespoons should do. Enough to coat the bottom of your wok nicely. Make sure that gets up to temperature before we do our next step, which is to add our ginger and our garlic. Get those going. Okay, and you will get a delicious smell of that straight away. Now I'm gonna add in my spring onions or green onions. Next, I'm gonna add my red peppers. Again, we're not going to cook them for that long because obviously we need to retain that crunch. The colours are amazing, the textures look amazing, I'm sure they will be. I'm going to add my blanched broccoli and carrots. As you can see, this, when you add up all these ingredients, there's loads. It's going to be a feast. Make sure you keep the heat up. Give it a little bit of a toss. I'm gonna add about 200 ml of plain water. You can use stock if you like. It's perfectly fine, but I find water to be great because we're adding the flavor. There's so many flavors in here anyway. Another tablespoon of light soy sauce. And then a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Notice I haven't added any salt because oyster sauce is quite salty. And if you are vegan, you can get a mushroom variation of that. And there's also gluten-free alternatives you can use if you shop around. Now I'm gonna reintroduce our beef, our lovely succulent tender beef. Just gonna give the sauce a little taste. Mm, that's lovely. Tell you what, I'm just gonna add a half a teaspoon more sugar. I just like it to be a teeny weeny bit sweet. And now my cornflour slurry, is about a tablespoon of cornflour in here mixed with an amount of water, doesn't have to be precise. We're just gonna add this until we get the right consistency for our sauce. So I'm gonna put in about half of that. Give it a stir. Okay. That's gone a little bit thick, so I'm gonna add the rest of my water. I didn't put all the 200 ml in. So that's about there. And that should get us to where we want to be. I 
And there you have it guys, stir fried beef. What a dish, just served simply on the bed of rice, a feast fit for a king. Those tender strips of tasty beef with the vegetables that still got their crunch, just perfectly cooked, flavored with the oyster sauce and the garlic and the ginger and that little pungency from the rice wine, just a subtle, it's not an alcoholic dish, it's just subtle flavoring, all blends together to turn into a wonderful, wonderful dish. So I really hope you try it guys, and if you do, let me know how it goes in the comment section below, along with any other comments you wanna make. If you've liked this video, please leave me a like on your way out, and if you haven't already, please give me a subscribe. There's a super thanks button underneath the video if you wanna check it out. And obviously, all my utensils and things are in affiliate links in the video description. If you decide to purchase anything from there, it doesn't cost you any extra. It just gives me a little bit of a kickback, I mean, a tiny kickback to help the channel, but it doesn't cost you any more. It's just the way this Amazon and YouTube thing works. It's great. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye.